Hey, what's up guys? It's Marcus here with Static Cling, bringing you a tutorial video for our new device, Optic. Optic is a multi-channel spectrum analyzer, and we're gonna see what that is in just a bit. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wire it up, and once we have our first device wired up, we'll get to see you know, what Optic does. So let's dive right in. We're gonna be analyzing a short demo track I made. It's just a down-tempo hip-hop loop. It sounds like this. Lovely. And uh, let's get started. So of Optic, we see that there's seven channels um, and each of them has a pair of stereo input jacks and output jacks. And what we need to do is provide audio to these inputs so Optic can perform its analysis. Uh, and this first device that we wanna analyze is a radical piano combinator. And to do this, we're gonna disconnect it from its mix channel temporarily and take this combinator output and drag it to, I'm going to go with channel three. And once I have that connected, I'm going to go ahead and rename this channel three to New York Studio Grand to match the device. And at this point, you know, Optic is receiving the audio and is ready to analyze it, but we're not, we're no longer sending that audio to a mix channel. We're sending it to Optic. So one of the things we implemented to make this problem easier to solve was audio pass through. And that basically takes this audio that you're providing to the input and just immediately spits it right back out these output jacks and doesn't color it, doesn't delay it, doesn't do anything to it. So we can take that output now and send it back up to the old mix channel for this device. And that will, you know, provide Optic the audio it needs to do the analysis while also, you know, giving you a way to still continue hearing the audio through its designated mix channel. So we'll flip this around and hit play. And you'll see that we, you know, can still hear those piano chords and we're also seeing it be analyzed by Optic. So this is a frequency analysis. This is basically no different from the native reason analyzer and it just shows you the frequency content of a signal. What makes Optic different is the fact that you can layer multiple different audio sources and see them side by side, color coded conveniently, so you can make comparisons, make mixing decisions, make sound design choices, um, all that good stuff. So let's see what you know two channels look like because that's when optic really starts to shine so we'll flip around to the back again and take a look at these drums uh, the drum situation is a little different because i've got an insert effect and it's this low pass filter coming from a polarizer and this actually brings up a useful alternative it's similar to this method but a useful alternative and that's using the insert effects even if you don't have an insert effect in here uh, i actually think this method is superior uh, for a reason we're about to discover. So to make sure you have access to these, if you have no effects here, make sure you uh, you open this up. Um, but in our case, we do have an effect, and we want to see the you know the effect that this filter has on our audio. So to do that, we will go ahead and disconnect the from device insert effects, and we'll grab the output of this pulverizer because that's what's been filtered, and we'll bring it down to this in uh, channel one, and we'll rename this. You know, this has like kind of a, a, a loop factory name. I'm just going to call this drums. And then from here, you know, we're going to grab this output jack like we did before and connect it to here. Um, and voila, drums are now, you know, working similar to this, except now we're using the insert effects section. Uh, you may or may not have noticed that this caused the mix channel to get renamed to just mix channel. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is a limitation in the SDK. Uh, I've done what I can to kind of work around it, and I'm going to continue talking to Propeller Head about how I can improve this experience. But um, for the time being, using this outside, I, I mentioned it in this message here, using this outside of the panel uh, can cause mixed channels to get renamed and in some cases recolored. Um, but if you do this insert effect method, it should only rename it to mixed channel, and we'll just name it. And in this case, we were going to rename it anyways. Uh, I'll call it drums to match optic. And now if we flip back around play we can see that this you know red analysis is our drums and this orange analysis is our chords that we were seeing before and we're seeing them side by side we're seeing you know where the frequencies overlap where they don't uh, if I bring this filter down we can kind of see the effect that has on on the signal and if we like bring it all the way back up, you see suddenly all these high frequencies are present. Uh, and that's how we know Optic is analyzing the signal after this filter is you know, being applied to the chain. So there's one last method of wiring I'd like to discuss. 
And uh, that involves using a splitter. So I'll go ahead and drag one out using the native reason splitter today. And um, basically, instead of taking advantage of the audio pass through feature that Optic provides, which uh, you know has its faults with how it you know reacts unpredictably with mixed channels sometimes, uh, you instead split your original instrument signal into two copies. So I will disconnect this from its mixed channel, bring it down to the splitter, connect a uh, pair up to the mixed channel input, and we'll see that it gets properly named. So you know that's kind of the advantage of using a splitter. It maintains naming properly. And we'll take a second split, a second copy, and uh, connect it to a channel down here, an input. Uh, in this case, I've already named it 70s Dream to match the original mixed channel. Uh, and since we're using a splitter, we actually don't need to connect the outputs to anything because there's nothing to pass the audio back through to because the splitter is, you know, maintaining that chain and not, not preventing it from making it back to the mix channel. So with that, we'll have all three devices properly wired and we can hear the entirety of the loop while also seeing, you know, an analysis of each individual channel. Um, Optic supports up to seven channels, as you can see, and I'll be covering, you know, some of these other features and controls in a subsequent video. So be sure to find that. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope I hope Optic uh, helps you make make creative decisions and make awesome music. Until next time.